How to set up the Shopify's Focal theme. Hey everyone, welcome. I hope you're all doing great. In this video, we will review the Focal theme and show you some setups that you can use and some of the features that it has to offer. Now, obviously, a Focal, not a Focal. The Focal theme is not a free theme that you can use. Uh, it is a paid theme. However, you can fully uh, try it for free and, you know, customize it however you like. And it's going to be completely for free for, you know, the entire time unless you want to publish it as long as you are using it for free without having it published you can use it for free but then if you want to actually publish it that's when you need to buy it so uh, by default if you want to access the focal theme you want it to go to your online store go to themes and then you just want it to go to the theme library click on add theme from the uh, section right here and click on visit theme store which should open up the theme store where you can just search for it just search up Focal and you should be able to find it right away. So it's going to be this one right here. You can actually see it's called Focal. It's $320. If you want to actually buy it, it's going to be a one-time purchase, obviously. And you can uh, use it for free until you want to publish. And to try it out, you basically just want to click on Try Theme. And then this is going to give us access to completely customize it to our liking uh, before we actually, you know, end up buying it so this should add it to our shopify store in a few seconds and it should load up right away we should be able to find it right here and click on customize so focal theme trial just added click on customize and this is going to uh, appear here for us if you have not used anything else except dawn theme or you know free stuff like spotlight theme this is going to look a little bit weird for you because this is actually going to have a lot of things that you know these other themes that you're more used to don't really have because it's going to have a lot of customized sections that you could only dream of when it comes to the uh, free themes that you have uh, and not only that but even when it comes to settings and stuff like that it's going to be completely different from the free uh, themes so generally speaking you're going to have the home page as the default one and you can obviously uh, adjust any other page by going to that specific page from the top here. But we're just going to be focusing on the home page and the sections that it has to offer and the different features. So starting off, how I actually like to adjust any theme that I go uh, in right away is that I start by adjusting the settings for the theme before we jump into the actual sections. And to adjust the, th uh, the settings for any theme, you want to go to the left dashboard here and you should be on the sections tab but you want to go down a little bit and you should be able to find this gear icon which should say theme settings so if you click on that this should open up the theme settings for you and we are going to start with appearance which is going to show us some things like the icon thicknesses that you want to add or thickness that you want to add the different um, radiuses for the buttons you are going to also find it in here and also more things uh you know within that aspect so if you want to adjust those you can go to appearance and you should be able to find them but then we jump to something that is very important which is the background colors and basically just colors for the entire theme so most likely than not you are going to have some sort of brand colors for your brand and to apply them you want to go to colors here and you're going to find all types of things that you can change colors for. So instead of using uh, the default, um, what is it called? The aspects or, you know, themes for colors. And then you can just apply them to each section. Instead, you're going to have an entire body of colors that you can change. So we are going to start with the general, where you're going to be able to change the heading, body text, background, all these things you can feel free to change. So let's just do one major change, which is the background and change that to be, for example, gray. And let's just go ahead and give it a second and it should actually turn the entire site as gray. I'm not going to play around with the rest of them, but I'm just going to highlight some of them. So if you want to also adjust the color for the header, if, uh, if, you know, rest of the stuff like primary buttons and also secondary buttons, which are two different layouts that you could uh, choose for any button out there. And also more things like the products and star ratings and all of these things that are actually built in into the focal theme. All of these are going to be within the colors. So just make sure you go through them one by one and adjusting them accordingly. 
Now here we have the products in white. This is going to be replaced by the actual product images that you have for your products. So you don't have to worry about the color of those. Now when it comes to typography here, you're going to also be able to change the font uh, and also the font sizes of each individual uh, setting. So for example, for the headings, you can feel free to change the font. If you want to change the body text font and also base size for that, you can also feel free to do so from here. We also have more things like current, uh, currency format, animation, color swatches that you can also feel free to change, whether if you want it to be uh, with, within the Shopify aspect or for the focal aspect. And then we also have more things like uh, social media. Uh, if you want to highlight them in the header, you can also feel free to add them here first. And more things like product grids, favicon, and more. And then we can just go back to sections in here and really dissect to the different sections that it actually has to offer. Uh, but usually we're going to start with the header because we would want to add our logo and so on. So here we have the first thing is that we have the ability to enable sticky header or we can just turn it off if you don't know what that is. Basically, if we just scroll down, notice how the header is actually scrolling with us, which is the menu, basically you can actually see that it is pretty much scrolling with us. If you don't want that, if you want it to stay where it is, just disable this option. It's going to stay at the top. But I'm just going to enable because it actually looks cool for me. So I'm just going to keep it how it, how it is right now. And then we can just go to logo. And if you want to change the logo, it's very simple. Just go to image, click on default logo, click on replace. Sorry, if you actually want to replace the logo, you don't want to click on uh, replace. You actually want to click on select image. This is not going to be how you change the logo. So just click on image and then click on default logo, click on select image. And then from here, you would want to obviously upload your own logo from here, but I'm just going to select this one as if it is our logo, click on done, and it should replace store one with our logo. So in here, you can obviously feel free to change the width of the logo for mobile and for the desktop version. Uh, and then we can also go to the navigation section, which is going to be a hamburger menu by default. And you can actually see the different menu options. If you want to change these menu options, you basically want to change the menu itself. Go to menu, click on replace and select the menu that you want to replace it with. And if you don't have a menu uh, yet to replace it with, you want to go out of here and go to, um, let's just stay, but you just go to themes and then from themes, you should be able to find navigation from within the Shopify dashboard. And then from here, you can uh, create your own menu if you want to. And then we also have more things here. If you want to show icons for uh, your social media, you can also set those up in here and more things as well. Now to come to more things here, we have the announcement bar at the top, which looks a little bit annoying here for me at, at the time. So you can change two things usually with every single, um, not every single, but most sections, the the thing itself, which in this case is announcement bar, and also the elements that are added to it. Uh, so in case of announcement bar is text. So if to adjust the settings for announcement bar, you basically just click on that. And then from here, you're going to be able to set it up. So whether it's going to be sticky or not, the text size, and also if you have multiple different uh, announcements, how you actually want them to rotate between messages and how long between each message. And then you can also feel free to change the colors for the actual announcement bar. And this looks much better for me. So uh, with that, you can obviously change more things as well. But if you want to change the text, it's not going to be within the announcement bar settings. It's going to be underneath. So click on the arrow right next to it. It should show you the setting here. Click on that, change the text. And if you want to even add a link, you can feel free to do so. So you can just, you know, change the text. Now, in the case of Focal, you can't really add the link to the text itself. Rather, you're going to add a button to it, which is going to show up once people hover over it and you can add the button text and also where it actually links to. So if it's a product you want to promote, you just go to products and promote to that specific product. But I'm just going to leave it empty for the time being. And you can actually see that if you just type anything in the content, you can actually see how it's actually going to look like. Okay, great. So this is for the announcement bar, but this is going to usually be the same for the rest of them. So if you just go to overlay group, we have pop ups here, which are actually uh, made within focal. If you want to adjust those, just click on pop up and you're going to be able to set 
come up. So if, if you want to set up the get 10% off to be something else, you can feel free to do so. If you want to adjust the text, you can also feel free to do so or even add images to it and, and whatnot. But I'm, I'm going to actually uh, disable the pop-ups. And if you want to disable them, it's very simple. Just go next to them and select the eye icon. Just make sure it's turned off. And now we can just go to the actual template itself and showcase some of the sections that it has to offer and how to adjust them. So to start off how to adjust them, it's very simple. You want to, again, just minimize the things within them or just click on the arrow right next to them. And this is going to allow us to adjust the things. And, and if you want to adjust the entire thing, you click on it itself. So to make things simpler, we have slideshow here at the top. If you want to adjust the entire slideshow settings, click on slideshow. This is going to show us, for example, the section height. It's going to uh, change the different transition types and also how uh, many seconds before it goes to the next slide. So you can adjust these things. But if you want to adjust what's actually in these slides, you again, click on the arrow right next to it. You're going to find slide one, slide two. Click on slide one to adjust it. Change the image, the split image, the mobile image, and also the different content for each one of them. Go to slide two and do the same thing. If you want to add another slide, just go to uh, right underneath slideshow or any other section that has multiple things and click on add image, which is going to add a third slide for us. It's that simple. And again, it's going to work with the rest of them. But if we just go to add section here, we, for example, let's see the different sections that, uh, that it has to offer. So we have, for example, future product. If you want to select a product and, you know, talk more about it, you have also collection list. So this is going to be a bunch of different collections that you want to showcase uh, at once. And then we also have rich text. So more like it's the preview image with text. And we also have newsletters, contact forms, videos, custom liquid. If you want to add your own code, we have blog posts, custom HTML, FAQs, uh, future collections, gallery, image with text block, image with text overlay, and there's plenty to add. And if you click on show more, there's also even more things that you can add in here. And you can see all of them over here. And to add any of them, you basically just click on it and it should be added to the bottom of the page. And you can always just move them up and down accordingly if you just drag them up like this and it's going to be placed wherever you, uh, you actually want them to be. And again, you're also going to have a footer. And if you want to adjust the footer again, just click on it and it's going to allow you to adjust it. So this is a basic showcase for the focal theme for Shopify. So hopefully you found it to be informative. And again, you can feel free to always try it for free completely, much like I'm doing right here. And I can play around with it entirely, change the background, change the images and everything. And then once I should, you know, like it or not, if I do, then I can feel free to buy it and publish it. It's that simple. So hopefully you found this video to be helpful and thanks for watching.